Oh man, so 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 late, so late. What's going on, guys? I am back at it. I guess uh I I guess I got too much time on my hands and I came across a post in Instagram uh from my guy uh the trucking review channel. You guys need to check him out. He uh he got some good uh good information on his channel and be on the lookout for that interview. I know that interview is late. I did that interview with with Chris probably back up in January, I think. And I still haven't released it yet, man, but it is coming. It's coming. I'm just saying. Pinky, she's coming first though. I'm just saying. What's going on, guys? Lock out me right here. And um and yeah, I'm I'm back again. Now, this information that I got probably might be late, but it's still shareable because of the situation that's going on out here. Now, I got the information from from Chris, the trucking review channel, and I noticed that one of the truck stops employees have tested positive for the drinking breakout outbreak. Yes, yes, yes. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, from what they have said that it was before, uh, this was back on the 20th, I think. He stopped going to work March 20th after feeling symptoms of or just feeling sick. So according to Miranda County, the trust stopped uh, closed temporarily over the weekend. They hired a professional cleaning company to come in and like disinfect the store, like up and down, like done. You know what I'm saying? They uh, open back up, you know, the, the store part, and then the restaurant part probably opened up uh, probably a day later. But this goes to show you that <laughs> I, I don't think anybody is safe. You know, we, we can do this social distancing thing, but, you know, we still got to interact with one another. You know, I guess you can... You can have all the safety precautions in the world and you still may or may not end up with this, uh, this situation. Let's go to KGPE for the story. At a Madera County truck stop test positive for the coronavirus. We just spoke with the Madera County Health Department. They say an employee at Love's Travel Shop on Avenue 17 and Highway 99 was confirmed positive on Saturday. However, the employee had stopped going to work on March 20th after having symptoms of the virus. Health officials say Love's closed temporarily and hired a professional cleaning team to disinfect the store over the weekend. He went home as soon as he developed symptoms. So the last time he was even there was on the 20th. So it's almost 14 days since then. So if anybody's worried about having been exposed, first of all, most people aren't close contact. And second of all, you're almost at the 14 days where you don't have to worry anymore. I don't know. I don't know. Now, that was back on the 20th. So just imagine everybody that has came in contact with this young man prior to the 20th when he stopped going to work. I mean, if he's a loves worker, he probably came in contact with a lot of people before he even noticed that he even came down with these symptoms. See, right there, we don't know. We don't know who we come in contact with. You know what I'm saying? We don't know who we coming in contact with, but we are, but, but us truck drivers, we are susceptible to coming in contact with, with someone that may or may not have it. This, 
this is just an invisible threat right here. It's an invisible threat. So th this information was back on March 31st, 2020, and it was updated on March 31st, 2020. But as I said, you know, I, I sit here and I go through my Facebook, I go through my, uh, I go through my Instagram and I just came across it and I was like, yo, let me go in here and share this because maybe a lot of you guys don't know. You know what I'm saying? That this incident was in Morada, California, and it was the Love's Trust Stop on Avenue 17 and Highway 99. So the guy said, if anybody was worried about being exposed, first of all, people aren't in close contact. I beg to differ about that. People are always in close contact, especially if they didn't know that he had tested positive. This is after the 20th. What about before the 20th? This epidemic right here is, 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 uh, is epic, it's epic proportions right now, man. You know, a lot of fears, a lot of people, a, a lot of people is, is doing crazy things and we don't know nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? So again, it's essential workers. You know, we got to be out here. You know what I'm saying? Truck drivers, gas, uh, fuel stations, uh, workers at, you know, at grocery stores and all sorts of stuff. I got one more. I got one more uh, article to bring up. Here we go. Finally, I am back. Okay. <laughs> I am back. I had to go and find the story and uh and find a news report about it. But uh what about have you guys heard about this now? Vermont orders big box stores, um, like Walmart, Target, uh, Costco to stop selling um items that's not grocery related so you know how you go into walmart you'll go into the auto uh auto department and you go and get you something for your car or you get you a new pair of shoes or you just happen to get that television that's on sale during this outbreak crisis no more vermont says no more no more buddy no more now you you can't get your pair of shoes during this outbreak. You can't get your you can't get your products for your car, and you can't get that nice little sixty five inch television for two hundred dollars. They stopping all of that. Now you can only go into Walmart and just buy groceries. If it's not grocery related, then you're not going to get it. They are roping the area off. This uh this comes from uh Montpelier, Vermont, and we about to go to WCAX for the report. Tonight, Vermonters are reacting to the state's latest move to get you to stop shopping during the stay-at-home order. Big box retailers, including Target, Costco, and Walmart, are no longer allowed to sell you anything inside the store the state deems non-essential. The state wants to flatten the coronavirus curve by discouraging you from going out into public places when you don't have to. So let's unpack this new directive. According to the Agency of Commerce and Community Development, here's a list of some of the items you won't be able to buy inside those stores. Arts and crafts, beauty, carpet and flooring, clothing, consumer electronics, entertainment, which includes books, music and movies, furniture, home and garden, jewelry, paint, photo services, sports equipment and toys. OK, now now some of this stuff is understandable, but books, movies and toys. Well, books and movies. 
that shouldn't even be on the list. I don't think books and movies should be on that list. I think everything else that falls on that list is okay. But books and movies, let's go through the list again. Hold on. Of some of the items you won't be able to buy inside those stores, arts and crafts, beauty, carpet and flooring, clothing, consumer electronics, entertainment, books, music, and movies. All right, so arts and crafts, beauty. Okay. I mean, you know, like beauty supplies and stuff like that. That's going to put a hurting on these females that like to put makeup on. You know what I'm saying? That's going to put a hurting on them. I'm, I'm sorry. Carpet and flooring, yeah. Yeah, okay. I get that. I get that. Uh, clothing. I get that. I get the clothing. I mean, well, no, I take that back. I take that back. I don't get the clothing. I mean, you know, you might need to go in there and buy you a pair of drawers. You know what I'm saying? Because you might be wearing the same ones because, you, you know, if you, you know, if you live in an apartment complex that don't have a laundry area, or you, you know, just don't have no ways of washing your clothes because you can't go to the laundry mats now. You might need to go and buy you a new pair of drawers. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Electronics, like I say, you can't get that big 65 inch television. You can't get it. Two hundred dollars. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. Hopefully, it'll still be there for two hundred dollars. But books, movies, and music. I don't, you should be able to get that. You're going to need something to keep your mind occupied. And books, movies, and music are the ones to do it. Now, the rest of them, now the rest of the stuff, uh, furniture, home and gardening, gardening, jewelry, photo, sports. Yeah, you, you can wait until all this pandemic is over to get back over there because ain't nobody outside is, is playing no type of sports. <laughs> I'm just saying. But books, movies, and music, I need that. I need that. You know, not everybody has satellite radio. Not everybody has uh, 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 internet radio. I'm just saying, you know, so they're going to need some type of entertainment to keep their minds occupied while sitting at home doing virtually nothing. This state order, this state is ordering places, of course, Walmart, Target, Costco from selling anything that's not grocery related in the midst of this epidemic right now. Is this is this what the is this is what is coming to now? You know, earlier today I talked about Laredo and the and the face masks and the one thousand dollar fine, and now, uh, now this you know you can't go into Walmart and get your favorite item, you know, and of course somebody testing positive for the. Uh, for the outbreak so oh man well if you guys like content like this and more and i would like to keep you updated with everything don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell for more content like this i am your humble host lockout man and i do appreciate you guys you know just rocking out with me if you guys feel some kind of way Leave it in the comments below. I want to hear what you have to say about all of this information that's coming in to me now and I'm sharing with you guys. All right. All right. And on that note, we are.